oh my gosh, the price of canned fruit has gotten so expensive. So when I came across this six pound can, I thought, hmm, let's see if we can break this down. So I decided you could either do the little small jelly jars. I decided to go ahead and do the pint jars. I'm gonna go ahead and load those up, empty everything out, including the juice, and just fill up my pint jars. This will make it much more portion size for my family. Now, if you have a big family and you guys can go through six pounds of pineapples before they go bad, that's great. My situation will not allow it. We're not that big of a fans. It'll probably be hard for us to even eat this many, even in the pints. I probably should have done them in the jelly jars. So just go through, fill up your jars, use the juice that's in there to fill your head space. One inch head space on this. If you're a little shy, you can always add a little bit of water to just fill it up. Make sure to clean your rims very well with vinegar and get all that syrup off there. If you don't get it off, it will not um, it will not seal. Make sure you debubble with a plastic fork or a spoon or a knife or whatever you can to debubble and then put your lids on finger tight. If you guys saw a previous video, I had a jar break and I kind of thought maybe I did it because of the metal knife that I used. So I did use a plastic knife to debubble this. Lesson learned, guys. Because the jars are cold, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the canner with cold water. Now this will be done as a water bath can. So you want to fill them up to two inches over the lids. Once you've got them completely submerged, then you're able to turn on the stove. Now, I did have some extra space inside my canner, so I decided to take this half a gallon of pickles and break it down into smaller quart sizes. Now, the pickles by themselves are fine. They're shelf-stable. However, I did not need that big half-gallon <clears throat> container in my refrigerator. It just takes up too much space. So I wanted to break them down into two... Um, I think I did three pints is what they come in. Three or four, I guess it was four pints. One of them is in the refrigerator. Didn't can it, but I did can these three to make them chef stable. Same process. You want to fill them up to one inch head space, debubble, clean the lids, the tops of the jars, place the lids finger tight, and then put them inside the canner and water bath them. Now, I canned these jars for once I, the temperature got up and it started actually boiling. The water started boiling a little bit. I went ahead and I canned these for 30 minutes. So I think I'll show you. Right here is what you want it to look like. You just started boiling, so I'm gonna start my timer at for 30 minutes. Now that they are completely done, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out, set them on a towel on my table, and let them cool off and settle down and seal. Let, don't touch them for 12 hours once you put them out. And all of them sealed perfectly. You can tell the color looks good. These will be shelf stable for the next year. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. God bless.